Built in June of 1890, the Peter Iredale was a four-masted steel sailing ship, and it was truly a sight to behold. Ported in Liverpool, England, it set sail for Portland, Oregon on October 25, 1906. With just miles to go to complete her journey, she ran ashore, one of over 2,000 such vessels that came to rest in the infamous graveyard of the Pacific, where the Columbia River meets the Pacific Ocean. Hi, this is Rick Curtis, and this Leadership Minute is brought to you from Fort Stevens, Oregon, and the mouth of the mighty Columbia River. These remains of the Peter Iredale, 112 years later, serve as a vivid reminder of the night that tragedy struck. Because of a couple wrong decisions of her senior officers, the 25 crew, along with two stowaways, could do nothing to stop the peril of the night. Their bad decision led to a cascade of other bad decisions within an unforgiving environment. And here she is, wrecked and on public display. As an organizational leader, you need to remember that the need to make crucial decisions can come at you very fast and with little room for error. That's why you have a responsibility to be the best that you can be, to work towards absolute proficiency and train your team to step up when the urgency and conditions dictate the need. Ask yourself, what is the worst thing that could befall you tomorrow? Train for it. Throw out other situations to your crew and run the drills. Very few organizations do this. In the end, the organizations that scenario train their leaders will make it to their intended destination. The others, they run the risk of their failure being on public display for years to come, just like the Peter Iredale.